Hey guys, before you see the upcoming video, one thing I should mention to you before you try any of this, it is always advisable to wear anti-static wristbands if you have any, or at least gloves like these so you do not potentially harm your components. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today what we're going to do is we are actually removing a CPU and putting it into a new motherboard, but that's not the point. We're putting it into a new motherboard and we are replying reapplying thermal paste. And so what we're going to do here, we've got actually got our motherboard here. I've got gloves on of course. We've got our motherboard here, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the cooler off, take the CPU out, clean the CPU, put it in the new motherboard, reapply the thermal paste, and then put the cooler back on. Or put a new cooler back on actually. So what we're going to do now is we've got our motherboard here, we've pulled it out of the PC. Again, you don't really have to if you but this is just how ours is for the moment. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to disconnect the cooler. So if you want to get in close there, just disconnecting it, just connecting the fan header. Okay. Now for this particular CPU cooler, we it is screwed in. So we've just got our screwdriver here. We're just going to unhook it off from the board and take it completely off. Just like so. Okay, so that should come off. Okay, so our cooler is now off, and we can see what looks like a very dirty CPU. So that's all our old thermal paste all there. Okay, so what we're actually going to do now is we're going to take the CPU out of its socket. So what we need to do, we've got this little pin here. You just push it down out of its little latch, lift it up, make sure this little pin comes out so we can lift off the cover and here is our CPU. Now we can see it is very dirty and it will get over your hands so that's why I'm wearing gloves but we just need to carefully take it out it's very delicate like that and there's our CPU so we, we're actually not using this motherboard anymore so we can put this aside and now we're actually going to clean our CPU Alright, so what we're up to now is we're actually up to the process of cleaning our CPU. So what we've got for this, we've got some methylated spirits, as you can see there, and either tissues or cotton buds. Cotton buds preferably, but tissues are fine. So we've got our CPU here and it's all in its dirty state, so what we're actually going to do, grab some methylated spirits here, get our tissue, make sure it's a nice flat surface, put it on the top tightly, turn the bottle upside down, without spilling it. So we get a nice little spot there. Then we're going to grab our CPU without trying to touch the bottom pins. And we're just going to slowly clean all the gunk off it so there is absolutely nothing left. So we can actually should be able to see the name there fully once it's all cleaned. Okay, so we're just cleaning the CPU now without touching the bottom. You just I just got my fingers all around the edges, just supporting it. Okay, we just need to fully clean it. Okay. Sometimes it's always good to get a second dab. Just to get that little bit of excess off. Okay. Okay, so we're just giving it a nice thorough clean. And what you should be able to see when you're done is a nice shiny silver palette with text on it. So you can see pretty much there. Okay, so we'll be back with the next video while I just finish up cleaning this. Now if we were actually replacing our CPU cooler and not putting a new one on, so we're keeping our old one, what we would want to do is do the same process as we did to clean the CPU, but with the cooler this time. So we've actually got our cooler here, and we can see it's as gunky as it was, the CPU. So I'm actually needing to do this anyway, so 
to give that a good clean as well. Okay, so just grabbing our method spirits on the tissue, I'm just giving it a good rub down. Don't worry about it. if you spread it everywhere, it'll eventually come off while you're cleaning it, even if it requires a couple of more dabs of spirits on here. Just clean it all off so we see a nice bronze plate again. Okay. So you would do the same to this as well. The reason why we're actually using Metho Spirits is so that we're not keeping the old gunk on here, the old thermal paste, and so we can still regain maximum performance as possible by the cooler. Okay? So stay tuned and we're actually going to put on the new cooler with a new dab of thermal paste. And now we're actually up to the part where we put the CPU back in with the new thermal paste and we put the new cooler back on. Okay, so let's begin that now. We've got our CPU here. Now, as you can see here, you actually need to line it up correctly so all the pins come in contact without breaking it. This is very delicate, so if you don't have arrows on your motherboard that match up with the CPU's arrows, then you pretty much just need to see where they see where the uh, little gaps in the CPU match up with the pins so just do this very carefully don't force it in or anything just drop it in and if it sits awkwardly you haven't got it right so we've already determined ours and it goes in this way so just drop it in it's secure okay it's not not moving anywhere that's good so now we close up the little plate okay it just slips through then the handle comes over and down and clips under the little tag there. So now our CPU is in place, we can actually start applying thermal paste. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. You, if you've already got thermal paste, that's good. If not, you will need some. And it usually looks like this, like a little syringe tube. But uh, one of the ways people do this is they either just drop a little bit in the middle and when they put the cooler on, it spreads it out, or some people like to do that and then grab like a bit of cardboard or something and spread it all around themselves. The way I'm going to do this today is just a drop in the middle and let the cooler spread it out. So we're actually going to open up. We've got our Arctic Silver 5 paste. It's going to take the cap off the top. Okay. And all we're going to do is just like a syringe, you just push down and it'll go in the middle. So we're going to just do that now. You don't need much. Just about a pea size. I should do it. Okay. Then you'd put the cap back on that. And then all you gotta do now is just pop the cooler back on top and then make sure it's secured fast in and then it'll spread itself out when you push it down. Okay, so we're just actually going to do that now just to show people. So just bear with me here because it is an annoying process. So we line up all the tabs. Cameraman has already set this all this up for me, so it's not much I have to do. <laughs> okay. So pretty much all we gotta do is just press all the tabs into their holes on the motherboard. Okay, let's make sure that all gets in there. You might actually need to lift the board up to make sure they all get in there properly. Okay. And then on each one, you just have to turn and lock it. To turn and lock it, of course, you can see you can see clearly on the pins if you can get around there. You can see there's a little arrow and you just push them down. Make sure they're out of the lock position first. You push them down and then turn to lock it and that will lock the CPU cooler in place. So, we're just going to follow all the pins. It's not securely in at the moment, but we're still... We're just showing you what you would do. Okay, and you would just turn all of them in. It's not securely in, of course, so this is, this is just showing people, pretty much. Um, and then you would plug your power connector into your little 4-pin up the top, and you would be done. Okay, just showing there and then you would be done. So you'd want to cable manage this of course and get it out of the way. Maybe you can just tuck it right under there. 
but pretty much it's not this is not securely in at all of course as you can clearly see but you would fasten it all in check all the pins and all that make sure it's securely pressed against the CPU plate and then you would be all done okay so that's pretty much it for this video a uh, little tutorial on how to just replace the CPU and cooler but uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more so now all we've done now is we've secured it firmly so you can see in there and now it is properly seated on the motherboard and ready to be plugged back into your case now of course hopefully by now if you pulled your motherboard out of your case you should know how to put it back together <laughs> otherwise why'd you do that <laughs> but uh, anyway you can just see in there it's all nicely firmly seated you can see all the pins have come through they are latched into place and now the CPU cooler is all back in and if you wanted to of course you can just tuck this under there under the cooler itself or something just to get it out of the road if you do mind about cable management otherwise it should be just fine when you get your RAM in there and all that good stuff but yeah that's pretty much it